Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about mechanism of birch reduction. So birch reduction is very common reaction. So you can actually, if you use benzene, so you can have some cyclohexadiene derivatives uh, when you use lithium, metal, and also ammonia, uh, liquid ammonia uh, with that uh, some kind of alcohol. So uh, that's the general mechanism. So in the screen, I have written down actually uh, one reaction that methoxybenzene. So you can see here. So this methoxybenzene, when we have lithi lithium and ammonia, uh, also liquid ammonia, and then uh, also some alcohol, as example, third butanol. So then we can convert this benzene derivatives to the cyclohexadiene derivatives. So that's kind of, it's like a reduction reaction. So that's why it's a Birch reduction. This is normally known as uh, this a Birch reduction for this uh, reaction. So uh, actually when you have uh, like electron donating group like this methoxy group, so you will have this kind of product. But when you have electron withdrawing group, you will have another product. That uh, mechanism for that reaction I will explain in a part two in the next video. So, but this video I'm going to talk about just uh, uh, when you have uh, electron donating group. Uh, so, for that uh, reaction I will explain mechanism I will explain in this video. Okay, so let's uh, uh, start the mechanism. So, mechanism for this reaction. So first of all, actually, when you have uh, this lithium, some sometimes you can use sodium metal also. But as example, I am using here lithium. So lithium, when you uh, in the uh, liquid ammonia solution, so it can make some uh, solvated electron, lithium plus an ion, and also solvated electron. So this solvated electron actually uh, is a source to start this uh, reaction. So here, so we have now we have solvated electron in our reaction pot. So then when we have this uh, uh, methoxybenzene as example, okay. So we have here solvated electron. So actually now this solvated electron attack to this benzene ring uh, like a radical reaction. So like this kind of radical reaction happening in the second step. Uh, then we will get this radical anion. We have hydrogen here that uh, already exists hydrogen and then we have this uh, radical anion. Okay, so now we have radical anion. So this uh, so the in this step actually so we have in our in our system so we have this uh, proton source so this third butanol normally third butanol use sometimes you can use another proton alcohol so I, I, here i am using proton source uh, third butanol as a proton source so this third butanol see this pro this anion um, radical anion grab this hydrogen okay then we have this uh, product this radical actually here we are hydrogen okay now we have this radical so this radical again react with another solvated electron we already had in our system okay to make this anion so this is our anion 
okay so this anion again react with this proton source he actually third butanol third butanol so this one grab this hydrogen and then we end up with this final product we already had hydrogen here so that hydrogen this one and then and this uh, the new hydrogen here and then we have this final product so you can see now we are we have this cyclohexadiene uh, so that's the actually birch reduction mechanism so it's very easy uh, reaction so you can see it's a kind of radical reaction but it's in the first step reaction start with this lithium react with this uh, liquid ammonia to make this solvated electron that is the uh, reaction starting point actually if you don't have also if you don't have this kind of proton source this reaction will not uh, continue so it just stops it because you should have some proton source in your system to um, system to continue uh, this reaction so that's the birch reduction mechanism when you have uh, electron donating group so i next in next video i will talk about uh, birch reduction mechanism when you have electron donating group on the benzene ring okay thank you very much